Brother Darrell, let's discuss the Painters Training Academy and, and and even the work that you're doing now and how it's going to merge into the Painters Training Academy and the possibilities that we see. Okay. Uh, the Painters Training Academy was born uh, probably a year and a half ago. Uh, I met yourself, Mr. Saibam, and you gave me a uh, zip drive with, a, with an audio book on it. The audio book was a training manual. I was so taken with the thing when I went home that I went yeah. over it twice. Um, but I found it to be just the most comprehensive and the most uh, detailed um, manuscript, if you will, yes. of how to become an entrepreneur as a painter. As a trade a as painter. A trade, yeah. mm -hmm. As a painter. Yes. Also within that, learning some other skills, related skills, skills. related yeah. to yeah. home building. So having this information on audio with you as you go, uh, it's it's like it's almost like I'm talking in their ear with my experience, yes, right? Sir. It's yeah. like you, yeah. it's like you right there motivating them over and over and over. <laughs> That's great. And, and, and so with that, yes, sir. I created a logo, which is the Painters Training Academy logo. And I wish I had it with me right now, but I, I'll have it at a later date. So the goal but is to tie in the goal that, that, concept tie in that concept with the actual work. That you're doing the now, and we're going to expand on that. In, we're, we're doing right now some balconies for CHA. Yes. We just did a uh, CHA senior citizen lobby, uh, and it was about 10 days worth of work that we did in four days. What we're looking to do is to be able to bring some of the young people from Poor High School, some of the young people from Marshall High School, and some of the young people from Austin High School. Yes, yes, yes. We're looking to be able to bring them into our training program Absolutely. and to be able to take them and do some of this work so that when the year's end and, and their senior year, when that summer they can come and go to work for us, if they don't have plans to go on and go to college, then they can start their career. Right. Booker T. Washington said, cast down your bucket where you are. Yes, sir. And I think that, that that concept, in my opinion, has always been uh, uh, more necessary, in my opinion, than, the, uh, uh, than anything else. And uh, I was more of a Booker T. Washington proponent than I was a W. B. Du Bois proponent, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, I'm not discounting, I know they both, these both, but more of our people in our community have always needed uh, these skills uh, for survival uh, as opposed to even, even community building. Yes, yes. Uh, these are the, any community needs to know these skills and have them under their belt. Exactly. No matter what they do, no matter whatever else happens. Exactly. So we we kind of we kind of lost track of that in the '60s. We lost track of that. And inside, you bring about uh, <laughs> you bring about an interesting point because as you speak of Black Wall Street, see when you go to Black Wall Street, you have to go to Booker T. Washington because Booker T. Washington. His knowledge is where the black the tradesmen learn their that's that's, where they yeah, learn their yeah. training. Oh, him and, uh, the, and the honorable George Washington Carver. It was Washington Absolutely. Carver. They, they were at their schools. They were at, they were at Booker T. Washington. They well, that information is going to be on our blogs and on our site. It already is. So the folks listening to this video understand that we're going to link up related information. Uh, uh, from when you see this video, uh, but go ahead, continue on. So when we think about a sustainable business, a sustainable business,